So, check this out, people. This message is for those who are coming new into AMC and who are believing the hype about the Moaz. For you newcomers who are coming into the game now, the investment game, you need to watch out for YouTubers who are pumping up stocks like AMC, for example. Mean stocks, stocks that are pumped up by YouTubers and then the next day after they spike, they are sold by the very same people who pumped them. There is no Moaz, unfortunately. For those who have been waiting for the Moaz, they've been lied to. And the reason why they continue to hold is because they hope that the Moaz is actually true. And unfortunately, it ain't. Those who continue to hold are those who have no idea how to trade or how to invest. These are the ones who were deceived by these YouTubers like Lou versus Wall Street. I also want, I also believe that trades, trades, trades had a big influence on how people were holding AMC and were told to hold when he himself was selling AMC and trading AMC. And not just trades, trades, but Matt Kors, the Review Dork, TMI, and these other YouTubers who are now millionaires while the rest of us continue to hold. I was smart enough to sell my shares at 54. I never believed in the MOAS. I simply traded AMC from $5 to $7, from $7 to $13, and so on and so on. I continued to trade AMC up until $54. Now, those YouTubers that are left who are still selling the Moaz, do not follow these YouTubers, do not believe the hype. These are simply stragglers who are left behind and are hoping to gain their losses or at least part of their losses because unfortunately these people will not be getting their monies back amc is at three dollars and change and it is not going anywhere except down and these youtubers who are claiming that it is because of the stock market manipulation or because of criminal activity in the market. Everyone knows that there's criminal activity in any place where money is being exchanged and where money is trading hands. And unfortunately, those who weren't smart enough to sell AMC are at a loss. And the government is not going to go after someone simply because you lost your money. If you lost your money, it's because you weren't smart enough to sell at a profit the way trades, trades sold, the same way TMI sold, the same way the review dork sold, and Matt Kors and these other YouTubers who are now millionaires while you continue to hold an empty bag. And when you go on YouTube today, you see these newcomers who are just jumping into the AMC bandwagon, who are selling you this nonsense about a Moaz. These guys are liars. They are simply doing this for the clout. They know that anyone who hypes AMC gets the views, they get the subscribers, they get the ad revenue. And anyone who speaks the truth about AMC 
simply does not get the views and they do not get the ad revenue because they do not get the subscribers who want to hear the truth. And so those who speak the truth about AMC are simply left behind as far as their YouTube channel. But if you're going to follow anyone and listen to someone who's speaking about AMC, you have to use common sense. You have to take the good and leave the bad. And unfortunately, because you have no idea how to trade or understand how the market works, you are going to buy the nonsense that they are selling you, that AMC is going to the moon, that AMC is going to squeeze, even after it's been tanking from $74 to $3 and change. They're still going to tell you that there's hope for Moaz. You go on YouTube today and you see these idiots, these liars, these crooks, like George Donahue, like Boss Blunt, and like other YouTubers who continue to sell this bullshit just so that they can get the views. Anybody with common sense can see that AMC has tanked. Anybody with common sense can see that if you don't use your brain when it comes to the market and you don't sell at 20 or 30%, you are going to lose your money. You are going to lose your house. You are going to lose your pensions. You are going to lose your life savings because if you believe that AMC was going to Moaz, then 100 shares would have been enough. 100 shares would have been enough. How much more money do you need? How much more money do you need if a stock, if you believe a stock is going to Moaz, and then you take all your life savings, all of it, 100,000, 200,000, and you take it all and you put it into a stock that you believe is going to Moaz, if it's gonna Moaz, do you really need to put $100,000 into the stock? It's not enough that you own 100 shares, 500 shares, if it's going to Moaz, then you're gonna be a millionaire with 500 shares. But instead, you decide to bet the house. You decide to bet your pensions on a stock that's going to Moaz. Bro, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. If a stock is going to Moaz and you have 100,000, how about you put 2,000 on that stock and wait for it to Moaz and get your million? No, but you're not satisfied with a million, right? You want to go to the moon. Now, my question to you is, how does it feel being on the moon right now? How does it feel? Because it doesn't feel good, does it? You know why? Because nobody's gone to the moon. Nobody. The only ones who've been to the moon are the idiots who bought the bullshit, and now they're standing there on the moon alone with no money, nothing to buy. Remember, there's nothing on the moon, people. Ain't shit there. And so I don't understand how it is that if you see Adam Aaron selling his shares, Adam Aaron, the CEO, sold his shares in the millions. You see that Trace Trade sold his shares. TMI sold his shares. Matt Kors sold his shares. The Review Dork sold his shares. Part of the Kansas Five, they sold their shares and they were pumping the Moaz. If these people who were pumping the Moaz sold their shares, what makes you believe there's a Moaz? And if there is a Moaz, why isn't Trace Trades coming back? Why isn't TMI continuing to speak about the AMC Moaz? Why isn't the Review Dork talking about it? Why is it that now you see AMC Mooners talking about, this is my last video on AMC? if it's going to Moaz. How can you sell something that isn't worth anything? And I don't understand how people can continue to hold while they watch their monies diminish, being taken. I mean, the rug has been pulled out from under you people and you continue to stand there supporting this stock, supporting this company, the CEO who took your money because he shorted the stock when it was at one of its highest points. Adam Aaron shorted it. 
and you're still standing there believing that there's the Moaz people, you got to get your money. You got to train yourselves. You have to understand how the market works. And the government isn't going after any criminal activity that's going on in the stock market. You know why? They're simply going to say to you, just like they would say to Trey's Trades, for example, if Trey's Trades sold his stocks and he became a millionaire, why didn't you sell your stocks and become a millionaire? If the review dog sold his stocks and became a millionaire, why didn't you sell your stocks and become a millionaire? If Matt Cross sold his AMC shares and became a millionaire, how come you didn't sell your shares and become a millionaire? That's all the government or the judge is going to say to you. Because in order for someone to win in the market, someone has to lose. Someone has to lose. We can't all win. And unfortunately, there are people who lost or are still in the losing end who continue to hold while those who sold are kicking back with their millions enjoying life. And yet you continue to hold and complain and accuse the uh, criminal activity for why you don't get your money. The fact is that the only criminals who took your money are the same YouTubers who promoted it. They took your money. They pumped up a stock, told you that it was going to Moaz, waited for the stock to reach its highest point, just like Adam Aaron, the CEO, waited for AMC to reach one of its highest points. And then afterwards, they sold while you continue to hold. After you jumped on the bandwagon when AMC was at its highest point because you didn't want to miss out. And because you didn't want to miss out, you jumped into a stock that was already at one of its highest points. And now you're at a huge loss, a huge loss. And unfortunately, you will not recover this money. Anyone who tells you so is lying to you. Now you need to ask, uh, assess your situation. You need to think, you need to use common sense. You need to train yourself, learn how the market works and see if you can recover these losses. And if you're smart, you can recover your losses, but you have to train yourself. You have to watch people who are unbiased towards stocks. You have to watch people who are not pumping stocks, any specific stock, as if they were going to squeeze. Meme stocks are not tradable. They are not good for holding. They are not good for anyone who has no idea how to trade because you are going to be left holding an empty bag, people. You have to train yourself. I will not and I do not jump onto the bandwagon when it comes to meme stocks. Anyone who promotes a meme stock on YouTube, I don't care who's jumping on it, I do not jump on it. You know why? Because as soon as it spikes, the next day it tanks, it crashes, because the very same people who pump it, dump it, and you will be left holding an empty bag. And unless you train yourself, and start small with small amounts of your money rather than using all of your life savings. Start small, people. Start with $100, $500, max $1,000. Instead of using your life savings and allowing these people on YouTube to take your money because the ones who took your money, it wasn't Adam Aaron. It wasn't Adam Aaron who took your money. Yeah, he took your money but he did what any real businessman would do, which is get his money. But the ones who took your money were those who lied to you and told you that AMC was going to the moon and it barely reached the clouds. And just as it touched the clouds, those same people who were pumping it sold it while you were left holding an empty bag. And so now you're sitting here watching these YouTubers hoping that these newcomers or those who are left behind, the stragglers who are still pumping AMC, 
you're hoping that somehow, some way, what they are telling you is true. Even after almost three years, you still continue to hope and the market is not based on hope. It isn't based on faith, people. You have to be smart. There are good people in this world and there are bad people in this world. There are good people who do bad things and there are bad people who do good things. And those people who took your money could be bad or they could be good. It doesn't matter in the market. In the market, it is every man for himself. And if you don't think about that and get your money, you will continue to lose what little is left of your life savings. Train yourself, learn the market, see how it works, understand how it works, and get your money.